In the last video I left off with this crazy mess of wires and if you did not watch that video I strongly recommend you go back and watch it so that this makes some sense. But what I did not describe in the last video was how we make sure that this power stays on. So I told you that the shunt trip circuit that you know the circuit that activates the shunt trip breaker is just a 120 volt circuit just like a light switch or an outlet whatever right so it's got a circuit breaker that somebody could walk up and just turn off there's nothing supervising this power currently so if somebody turned that off you can imagine shunt trip isn't something that activates very frequently so that could stay off for a pretty long time before anybody noticed it so it's required that that shunt trip power is monitored and since it's a 120 volt circuit we don't really have a way of just throwing a monitor module on a 120 volt circuit right so we need to utilize another relay just like we did to activate the coil of the shunt trip breaker we need to use another one of those relays to be activated by this power at all times to make sure it stays on and then land a monitor module on that to make sure it doesn't change states so um, just because this is so cluttered what I'm gonna do is scroll down a little bit here and let's see how far can I go okay so that's good enough and what we're gonna do is I'm going to bring in another one of these monitor modules I'm sorry another one of these relays um, so here's another MR 101 and then I'm gonna bring in a monitor module monitor module obviously we've looked at in other videos it gets SLC and then on terminals T6 and T7 it's just looking for a short an open or a resistor right that's how it supervises so what we're gonna do this is pretty simple this this aspect of it's really simple we're going to take we're gonna t-tap this 120 again we're gonna come down here to this relay we're gonna go to the, z, the zero we're gonna t-tap the hot again come down here to the 115 terminal so now because we t-tapped a section that's wired directly to the shunt trip breaker I'm sorry directly to the circuit breaker that's always on right so now our relay is activated and our relay is going to stay activated oh why is that not working sometimes I hate this program all right so our light is on and now our contacts have changed states so I've said this before in other videos but it's been a while meter your relay contacts because in most cases they're labeled out of the box but just meter them before you use them to make sure so now even though like the rest of this video may be a little confusing because normally open and normally close will have changed because this is always activated right okay well all we're gonna do is we're gonna take terminals from T7 we're gonna come into common and then we're going to take terminal T6 and we're going to go to normally closed because while this relay is open, I'm sorry, while this relay is activated, that's open. Then we're going to take our resistor and land it across the pair. Okay, so this monitor module, we're going to program it not for an alarm. We don't want to set off horns if we lose power, but we'll set it for supervisory and we'll label it um, elevator, you know, shunt trip power monitor and so it's going to remain clear as long as this MR101 has power so I think that part's easy enough now again when you look at this whole picture it's crazy and it is a little bit complicated but if you take it one step at a time it makes sense and it'll look a little cleaner in the field because when you actually start wiring these things you're gonna wire it a little bit cleaner you're not gonna have four neutrals coming off you'd probably realistically come into your you know one of your MR 101s come out of the other or come out of that into the other MR 101 um, and then out of that directly to your shunt trip breaker so you don't even necessarily need a wire nut if you do that correctly um, the hot you're still gonna need a splice but you can still do it more creative you could come you could come into one common out of that common into the other common out of that into the other com or into the the trigger down low if you needed to you know and then that would be the end of that so it doesn't have to be as crazy as it looks here the reason I made it this crazy is to to, to be able to draw it one step at a time and make it all make sense so hopefully that makes sense um, 
if if it doesn't, please give me some comments, and if I need to explain this more in depth, I will. Um, otherwise, hopefully that gives you a little bit better understanding. Thanks for watching.